In this video, I'll be talking about my NFT music project that allows streaming revenue and also what else it currently offers. Hey everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. I hope you are well. So first of all, it's very, very warm this morning, but I'm wearing a jacket. And why am I wearing a hoodie? Because I have merch. How exciting. I can't, it's this side, it's this side. NFT Music Info, there we go. I'm really proud of this. Just shows how much the channel's growing. So thank you, I really appreciate it. And I might be looking at doing other merch as well coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So this is continuing on from my previous video, which is regarding my Cyber Friday NFT music project. This is on OpenSea and it's on the Polygon network, so it's gas free. And what it enables holders or buyers to do is if they purchase this track, they will also receive streaming revenue. But what I've also done, I've got extra benefits as well. So let's go into it, shall we? So there's 45 editions, one's sold already, which is great. I've made it reasonably priced for everybody that might be interested in purchasing it. And it is for a limited time. The idea is that it's minted and listed on the blockchain. You then have the sales of that NFT. Any non-sold NFTs will be burnt, which is great because that increases scarcity for the secondary market if you want to resell the NFT. But also, the whole point of this is that buyers will get streaming revenue. So let's say there's 45% streaming royalties up for grabs with 45 NFTs. If only, the, if only one buyer purchases this track by the time that it finishes, which is in a month's time, then all of the other NFTs will be burned, which means that that one owner of the track will own 45% of the streaming revenue. The track is then distributed to streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music, and then holders will actually earn the streaming revenue from that track going forward. What I've also decided to do is enhance it. Not only do you also get access to the private Discord channel that I have set up, which helps with governance. So in terms of voting for things in the future, in terms of uh, discussing, you know, any questions or anything, it's all via that channel, which is great. But also streaming revenue didn't feel enough for me. So I'm also offering Bandcamp. I'm gonna release the single on Bandcamp and any profits for that will be exactly the same percentage of the streaming revenue that you already have. So for example, if you own 45%, if you're the only buyer, that means you'll also receive 45% of the Bandcamp sales from that single. So I'm looking at all different ways to actually bring benefits to this. And I, I just think this is great. I've had a lot of positive comments, so thank you so much for those. Um, it's good to see that people are really interested in this project because it's offering more than just an NFT itself. It's offering more than the song. So if we have a look at the NFT itself, I'm just going to quickly play just a snippet of it. Invader, this is called. <laughs> So that's the track and there's 45 editions left. Now what I've decided to do, when somebody first purchases the music NFT, which has already happened, four weeks from then will be when all of the NFTs are burnt. So there's just less than four weeks now until these uh, tokens are burnt. And I'm gonna keep on with this project because I'm really interested in it and I'm gonna keep reporting on it. So make sure you give this video a like if you haven't already, just so that um, you can be kept up to date. You can hit the notification bell as well. And you know, this is supporting the artist directly. So any musicians interested in this, I will be continuing how I um, do all of this stuff and how I've set it up. You do have to be very organized with dates because for example, I wanna put it out on Bandcamp before it goes out on Spotify to increase the uh, chance of sales. A lot of people looking at Bandcamp will check Spotify and will be like, well, I can just add it to my playlist then, I don't need to own it. Whereas if you uh, put it out on Bandcamp first, then there's more chance of sales because it's not available anywhere else. So I'm looking at all different things. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments section and I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care, bye.